side. Excellent. Keep those core strong. Three, two, let's take it overhead on one. Take it side. Classic pre-war, one bedroom, one bath. Oh, the cleaning lady's here. Please come back later. No Polish. I live here. What are you doing? Oh, haven't you heard? The building's going condo. If you're planning on buying, I'm Wendy. We should talk. Well, I'm not buying, and they can't just kick me out. No, they can't, but they can hike your rent up way up. Let me show you the bedroom. Jack will tell you what to do next. What? Thanks, Cindy. All right, now we're gonna work those glutes. Hey, do you have a minute? Good God, Lemon, have you seen this? As I'm sure you've concluded from the headline, Don Geis' estranged son, Bertram, is suing his half-sister, Kathy, for control of the Geis family trust fund. Yeah, they could have done Geis scream, son, pay. <laughs> you know, like ice cream Sunday. This makes me sick to my stomach, Lemon. Don Geis is my hero. My mentor, a great man. Holding up one finger to get someone to stop talking, he invented that. I don't think... And now, he's being publicly humiliated by his own family. This is why I'm glad I never had children, and why I never will. Oh, Jack, you don't mean that. Guys also invented the abrupt conversational segue. Talk about your thing now. Okay, well, um, my building is going condo. And they're trying to drive the renters out. Are you going to buy your place? Well, I love my building, but if I'm going to buy a place, it should be a big place where I can have a family. Then spend some of your deal breakers money. Buy two apartments. What? You know why my place is so big? When I was first married to my ex-wife, we were in the basement. Over the years, I kept buying the floors above me to make room for the family I thought we'd have. Well, now I have something better than a family. A walk-in humidor, a lap pool, and a replica of the Irish pub where my grandmother was born. Well, I'm not rich, Jack. You're doing okay. And this could be your dream apartment. Sniff around your upstairs neighbor, see if he's planning to leave. If he's not, make him an offer he can't refuse. Trademark 1974, Don Guys. What, like bribe him? I know this sounds ugly, but with Manhattan real estate, there are no rules. It's like check-in at an Italian airport. Hi, I'm Liz, and I live right below you. Oh my God, I'm Brian. Come in. <laughs> wow, this place is great. <laughs> Isn't it? New kitchen, original molding, and I have a view because that dentist blew up his townhouse. So, you gonna try and bribe me like the rest of these yuppie bottom feeders? What? No. Bribe? People do that? Yeah, well, the guy above me offered me 10 grand to move out. That's... A lot. It's obscene. This neighborhood used to be real. Now it's all ugh, chain stores and fancy restaurants. Yeah, we cool people gotta hold our ground. Fight the man, Michael Moore, etc. Is that a working fireplace? Yeah, but it's kind of annoying. I can't shut the flu, so the apartment smells like Burger King all day and Cinnabon all night. <sighs> yeah, I just came up here to make sure you're staying. Ruining things for those creeps who are trying to make duplexes for their imaginary children and their imaginary husband, astronaut Mike Dexter. So what's your plan? I don't know. Let's figure something out, I guess. Look, what if we team up? What do you mean? I can't afford to stay here on my own, and based on your shoes and teeth, I'm guessing you can't either, so why don't we move in together? Uh-huh. I mean, you'd have to give up your place, because this is the two-bedroom. There's two of them? Oh! Is that bad? Oh, God. <laughs> 